Hey, what's good though? Oh, I see. Whoa. Okay. So yeah, it, it really is just a one-way thing. Oh my god, it's Lavos. Nobody told me I was going to have to fight Lavos. I was not prepared for this. Ah, <sighs> Denzium. Denzium is the bane of my existence. Alright, so there is a light crystal, which means we shoot it with dark energy, and voila. Yeah, I don't know if it stays down like that for long. Or, what the... Is there a blog around here? No, but there is this. The New Terror. Begin to possess a Luminoth. Oh, oh god. It was effective but not perfect. The shielding. Or to repair the self terminate. Wow. That is brutal. Yeah. That is too bad. Okay, yeah, so it does so it does stay flipped over. So is there, if there is... Yes, there is a portal in here, which is good. That is very good news for me. Now I gotta... Yeah. Fortunately, all you have to do is just flip over the enemy Lavos and attack its weak point for massive damage. And, um... That'll do it. Actually, funny we should mention that. Because, uh... When I played the DS version of Chrono Trigger. Uh, I got the, I, I believe it's the Apocalypse Arm for uh, for Robo, which is basically, if you get a critical hit, it's 9999 damage. It, it's basically the equivalent of Isla's Bronze Fist, Bronze Fist, except that it doesn't have a super, super low crit rate. Um, other than that, it has an attack power of zero, so that's, I guess, the trade-off. Um, then there was a, an accessory that gives me like higher crit chance. So I did that, and against like the secret boss who has like 30,000 health, I literally crit with him three times in a row, and then like one other guy attacked, and in four attacks I beat the secret boss. <laughs> it was it was actually kind of funny. Oh God, what in the what? The the what the hell? Oh! Oh god. Oh god, oh man. Oh god, oh man. Where the hell are they? What the hell? Oh, there he is. Hey, there we go. Gonna move the light beam over to there too. Which will actually do good stuff for us. Oh! Oh, damn, I was too late. See, I think once I get the dark visor, these dudes will stop being like invisible all the time. Okay, yeah, so I can't... I, I think... I might be able to get over there, but I can't get through that shielding. Yeah. I would imagine the control crystal is maybe on the underbelly side thing. So, uh, we're just going to ignore that for now. Just for now. And now we go oh these are blogs again. Come on. Come on, aggro me. 
See? As long as I can do that, they're manageable. Now if I can go over here, find... Whoa. Why is there a huge environmental hazard? Oh, that's why. This thing got flipped back over. What does Lavos think he's doing? Silly Lavos. The future did not refuse to change today. Hmm? What in the world? Oh, okay, I'm gonna need to... Oh, I see this stuff up here. Those platforms just came out. So now I can actually platform my way all the way back over there. Which is nice. 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 No, 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 don't! That's why I hate the way the water works in this game. Alright. And hop. Oh. There we go. And there we go. Alright. Now we can progress through. Ooh. Uh. Ow. Holy crap, that made it all the way over here? Yeah, let's just not shoot these dudes. How about that? Let's let's try to avoid shooting the poisonous um I don't even know what they are. They just have poison in them. That's all I know. And with this, we get to scan the third one of these. We got all three security locks disengaged. So now the bottom should rise up and reveal a secret area. And by secret area, I mean the area that we actually have to go to to progress. So let's proceed. This way. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this area. Oh, one of the bosses coming up is kind of interesting. If it's the one... Oh, my God! Um... That is a gigantic... Do I have to fight that? I I actually know the answer, but... I just I just don't want to fight it. Ow. So this is why all these dudes are here because you shoot them and you get a bunch of health. Yeah, I think I won't hopefully I don't have to fight this guy till I get the power up. Yeah, because trying to fight him without well, without the gravity booster thing. Yeah. Oh, God. This is gonna suck. <laughs> this is gonna suck. Please, 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 please don't make me fight him. Don't make me fight him yet. I just want to get the power up. Please let this be it. Oh my god, thank you, look. Thank you. This is the gravity boost. So instead of getting a gravity suit, you get this cool little jetpack thing. Which is actually kind of nifty. Alright. I'm moving... Yeah, let's actually... I'm, I'm actually going to look at this. Uh, movement systems, gravity boost. Yeah, it eliminates the effect of liquid on movement. Yeah, so it what it also does is you can see... We can see a lot better now. Yeah, see, we can do that. So that's pretty cool, right? 
Hey, we can see. And... Uh-oh. <laughs> no, there... Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, God, no. What the hell? Whoa! Alright, so... Yeah, he tried to avoid getting hit by this dude, because he hurts a lot. And as I say that, I get hit repeatedly. Yeah, if you can land a few good super missiles into him though, then he'll he'll be he'll be a lot easier to manage. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you avoid that at all costs cuz it will hurt a lot. Yeah, even if it means not being able to get a shot off cuz it's much more important that you survive. See? Look at that. Two super missiles and he's already down. Yeah, but if you get hit, you take a lot of damage. Ah, oh, crap, I missed. Ah, oh, what? How did that not hit? Yeah, if you, you want to make sure if you use the super missiles, though, that you definitely land them. Because you will run out of missiles quickly. Oh. Okay. Alright, then, yeah, just land, like, one direct hit like that. Alpha Blog defeated! I can't get up there because this game sucks. I need the spider ball. <laughs> I don't. Oh, that's where I go. I don't care if you're a cute bunny. I'll kick your ass for reals. So basically, if you didn't know how to use the gravity boost, this was, this is the time to learn it. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I remember. Maybe... I don't... You know what? I think I'm used to the difficulty on... On, like, Metroid Prime 2 GameCube version. Because I know that... Uh, like, this has, like, normal, veteran, and uh, hyper... Where veteran is like halfway between normal and hard mode. And like I, I couldn't imagine playing this game on hard mode. Oh yeah, by the way, you can see clearly now. It's so nice. I can move freely. I can actually move. Okay, yeah. Um so now that I have this. Um, I also don't know where to go at this point. Uh, so I am just going to, um, I'm just going to go to the safe station and call it, and I'm going to call it a day. So, on the next installment of Let's Play Metroid Prime 2, um, I'm going to figure out where I need to go next. I'm going to guess it has something to do with the Forgotten Bridge, possibly? But, anyway, that will be, uh, I'm going to save that for next time. So, until then, uh, whoa. So, until then, this has been GT. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.